One of the claims that Tai Chi often makes is that it's possible to use Tai Chi to defend yourself against an opponent regardless of your size or weight or height or gender. So men and women of any size and fitness level and strength level should be able to use Tai Chi principles to overcome an opponent regardless of the difference in size and strength. So what we're going to attempt to do today is demonstrate this fact and this, this power uh, with as big a weight difference and size difference as we can. So I have managed to secure a martial artist uh, who, uh, let's see, the, it's a considerable size difference. We're looking at about 180 pounds uh, difference in our sizes. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, her size is not going to be that much of an advantage for her. In spite of 180 pounds difference in size, I believe that I should be able to overcome almost every technique she can throw at me. So we'll begin. Now, I'll introduce you to our opponent. This is Alia. Alia is a martial artist with several years of training and she has a great deal of experience and power and a lot of time in the ring. Now she's eager to go, as you can tell, but I'm going to try to uh, do what I can to uh, make my weaknesses uh, work for me and to use her strengths against her. Are you ready? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, if she grabs my finger, now she is notorious for her kung fu grip, and a lot of people find it really hard to get away from her when she's holding on like this. She's notice how relaxed she is. There she is. And, if she, and there we go. That's a better angle. So if she's holding on like this, her arm is very relaxed. But if I apply leverage and pressure right into there, then it forces her to let go. And then I can just turn like this and counter and then take her down like that. And now, she, oh, she, she's pretty small, right? It's hard to get a grip on her. Normally what I would do with another opponent, if I have them like this, and then I would reach around and hook their legs. But you see, because she's, she's such a different size, I have no legs to hook onto. So when I'm like this, and I have to watch out for this one, because this is pretty deadly. She will kick up like this, and then she will just launch her feet at my groin. So you have to be very, very careful about that. But again, I'm not going to let that get to me. So from here, thank you for being patient. Look at the discipline. Look at the focus. We have strength. But notice how she gets her legs up like this. She gets her legs up like this. She pulls her knees in quite instinctively. So I try to come up and I have to get past her legs like this. And now I grab her arms and I grab her arms and I pin her down. But notice how she's not phased at all. She knows she can get out of this because she knows she's small enough that she can just wiggle out. She's really hard to pin, right? Because she tends to fall and roll. She notice how she's like a ball. Like this, and she brings her knee up like this. Look at that. Look how instinctive that is. And now I can't get past her legs, so I try to get past her legs. Then she turns her back. Oh, she's going to be sorry she did that. Now here, here's another problem you come in when there's such a big difference in size. I'm going to try to do the iron cross, right? And I grab her arm like this, and I try to, I want to hook her other arm with my leg. Like that, but see, she just wiggles out of it because her arm's not long enough. I can only get the one arm. And now normally, a normal opponent would be submitting by now. But she's so flexible and so loose that it doesn't bother her. Look at that! In self-defense, you have to go for the, the, the dirty tricks sometimes. So, biting the ear. I'll try again. Okay, she's tough. Okay, I'm just biting right through her ear. See, nothing. Now, again, another problem we run into. Let's assume the person has you down and they've got you on the mat like this. Like this. Now, from here, this is a good position for me because I can put my feet flat and I can kip up and I can launch her off my center. Now, she's in a good position here, but if I go, whoo, like that, then I can throw her right off. But if she's here, right up near my chest, see how she can reach my neck? And if I kick like this, she's so small that it doesn't really have any effect on her. And she just looks on her head on my face and tries to smother me so it makes it hard for me to breathe. 
I can't sit up. I can't sit up like this. I try. And she's just oh, using her lead, superior leverage against me. Like that, and making it hard for me to breathe. Oh. Yeah, those are yours. Take them with you. 